Man, it looks good this morning, but there's a cold front on the move. There are showers on the move. There's also a warm front on the move. So, uh, yeah, a number of issues uh, that are working against us as far as the afternoon goes, especially. So the shower is pretty much confined to western Kentucky right now. That warm front's going to lift in and should nudge us into the 50s today, so it'll keep it a cold rain. Well, that's exactly what I'm tracking. Showers rolling in from west to east. Mainly going to be an afternoon and evening hit, and then it'll taper off overnight. Here's the Max Track Doppler. You can already see some showers up along I-69, southern Indiana. That's the first of them just getting going and uh, moving into western Kentucky. We've had some lightning overnight and early this morning up around uh, western Indiana, southern Illinois, up towards uh, Terre Haute, maybe closer to central Illinois as well. Uh, but so far, it's just mainly been showers across uh, western Kentucky. So it's, it's going to be a while before it gets here. LAX 18 Storm Tracker Future Track shows the rain on the move. So late this morning, western counties and then pretty much through the lunch hour into the afternoon for the rest of us, here comes the rain again. We've got that shot of uh, mainly light at times, moderate showers tracking through, tapering off overnight. Easy to pick out the cold front tomorrow morning as it tracks through. Uh, we'll see the precipitation end, drier air cutting in, chillier air as well. But nothing like the front that's coming through over the weekend. That one's going to pack more of a punch, and you'll see the impact of it coming up. Rainfall totals from this first round coming through. Anywhere from a quarter to a half an inch of rain on the high end. A lot of folks, maybe a tenth or two. So not a lot of rain, but enough to keep it wet. And we, am tra we are tracking additional rounds of uh, active weather this week. The first one today, the widespread showers. But we've got gusty wind, pretty limited instability to work with this weekend with the next cold front. But Saturday, we'll have strong winds. So it'll be one of those really gusty, blustery days. Showers, some rumbles of thunder, a possibility, and much colder air coming around the back end of that front. The temperature drop Saturday into Sunday is going to be pretty incredible. 35 now, it's 31 in Frankfurt. So around freezing below it in spots. That's the forecast high into the afternoon, pretty close to our average, mid to maybe upper 50s down south, showing almost 60 in Pikeville. You guys would be the last to see the showers. Tonight it drops into the 30s, more than likely mid to upper, and that's by tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow afternoon, we're only back to around the upper 40s, maybe low 50s. So, yeah, it'll uh, cool down tomorrow as we dry out. Just watch for that increasing round of showers. It'll be much more of an issue for your evening commute as opposed to this morning. And again, temperatures into the 50s, pretty close to average high. Upper 30s tonight, lingering showers, tapering off as that front tracks through. And then tomorrow, a uh, pretty quiet, dry day, but a chilly one. Upper 40s here, low 50s south. We'll jump to the 60s Saturday and Friday as well, but Saturday we'll also have that cold front tracking in. So Friday night, some showers around, and then Saturday showers, some rumbles of thunder, pretty gusty as well. And uh, on the back end of that frontal boundary, there's the temperature drop. I mean, low 60s to highs only in the upper 30s Sunday. Still tracking that potential. If there's enough moisture left over behind that departing front Saturday night, we drop into the 20s. We may briefly kick over from uh, raindrops to a few flakes. Chances are pretty low there, but that chill, guys, is going to linger in the next.